Zeri has been an extremely strong champion ever since her release, so you should better know how to play her, or at least how to play against her. She is also a very unique champion in terms of mechanics, but in this Zeri guide you get everything you need to know in less than 5 minutes. While being undeniably strong, Zeri does not come without her flaws. Your early and mid game feel almost oppressively good, but you will fall off during the late game as other AD carries begin to outscale you. Therefore, if you want to play Zeri, you need to make sure your macro game is on point, so you can actually snowball the match to victory before it turns into a coin flip. During the early game though, Zeri does not have a single losing matchup, so blind picking her into any team composition is perfectly viable. Now, in terms of actual gameplay, this champion vastly differs from everything we've ever seen in League of Legends to this day. The first part of Zeri's passive ability, however, is rather straightforward. She gets extra movement speed from shields, which gives you good synergy with enchanter supports, and the fact she is automatically stealing shields from enemies by attacking them is a huge upside in this shield-heavy metagame. But you do not need to actively think about utilizing this passive, as it should rarely affect your decision making. The second part of her passive is where things get crazy though. The game forces you to put your first skill point into Zeri's Q at the start of the match, and your Q is for all intents and purposes your auto attack, whereas your actual auto attack behaves like a spell. That spell is naturally point and click, and zaps your enemy with a magic attack that can be charged by moving or auto attacking. This is nothing too crazy, but your auto attack being mapped to your Q button has some wild implications. First of all, this means Zeri's auto attacks are skill shots, which of course can be dodged or blocked like any other skill shot. This also means though that Zeri can auto attack targets without having vision. You can blindly fire at a bush or into fog of war, which means it is impossible for your opponent to disrupt your attacking patterns mid-combat. This is a huge advantage and as soon as Zeri's attack range becomes second nature to you, you can kite your enemies like crazy with very little chance for them to outplay you. Zeri's W is also a skill shot and it is a good tool for engaging since it applies a slow onto its target. Its range is massively increased when fired through terrain, so use that to your advantage. Zeri's E is a rather basic dash, allowing you to dodge many skill shots on reaction, but also empowering your next three auto attacks with piercing damage, which makes it a valuable offensive tool as well. The crazy part about this spell is that it extends its range across any piece of terrain, so if you save your E, you can simply run from any unfavorable fight by dashing across a thick wall. Since you sometimes need this ability for engaging, sometimes for disengaging, and sometimes for combat power, your decision making concerning when to use this spell exactly is a huge part of Zeri's skill expression. When used for an engage, you should always combine your E with Zeri's W to pop out of the wall with your laser at the same time. Your ultimate is one of the best team fighting tools in the entire game in my opinion, and I am obviously not talking about the initial burst damage on this ability. Yes, its damage and scaling are nice, but its true power lies in clicking the subscribe button and enhancing Zeri's auto attacks. The longer you are able to keep attacking, the crazier it gets due to the infinitely scaling movement speed. Since the duration of your ultimate's empowering effects has no upper limit, you just scale past a critical point eventually where no one will be able to run away from you anymore, no matter what they do. In order to fully embrace this concept of ever-growing teamfighting power, you go for Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Legend Bloodline and Coup de Grasse with Taste of Blood and Ingenious Hunter secondary. Your shards are attack speed, adaptive force, and of course the matchup dependent resistance shard. Since your Q is fully equal to an auto attack, it also gets full benefits from lethal tempo. This is a scaling keystone of course, growing more and more powerful the longer you attack, so it is just perfect with Zeri's ultimate in teamfights. Some people go for presence of mind, but since your Q doesn't cost mana, you can also get away with triumph and use it in tandem with the other healing runes for sustain. Yes, we are skipping Ravenous Hunter here in favor of Ingenious Hunter, but doing this is in fact very important. Zeri uses Sheen effects extremely well since her Q both triggers and applies Spellblade. Because it is so spammable, getting your Sheen passive to a much lower cooldown greatly increases your damage output. Due to these amazing Sheen synergies, you always rush Triforce for your first item. This again ties back to your playstyle with your ultimate, providing ramping attack damage in extended fights as well as extra movement speed. Afterwards you buy Hurricane for even more movement speed and faster Q spam. Additionally, this item helps you wave clear, which is crucial, since your enemies will try to hide behind minions in order to avoid your skill shot auto attacks. For very much the same reason, you also want Titanic Hydra, making it quite dangerous for your enemies to body block for each other. Your most efficient armor penetration item is actually Black Cleaver, since your auto attacks firing 7 rounds per shot instantly stack it to full. Also more movement speed for you, allowing you to reach that critical point where you become unstoppable even sooner. Your last pick is pretty much any defensive flex item, so choose whatever you need most, but it would be better to just finish the game before that. Quite frankly, it is somewhat difficult to do Zeri justice in this short a video, since she is rather unique, so if you want to dive deeper and find out more about this champion, just click the link on your screen right there.